Hello and welcome to a brand new Final Cut Pro 10.1 tutorial. This time taking a look at some of the updates from the latest update 10.1.2. In particular we are taking a look at the new management tools which help you move your cache folder or your cached files onto a different drive or a selective folder. Now the way you manage it is you actually manage it per library. So if I were to select this library here, this is a recent project I've been working on, I can click on the inspector and then you can see that there's a few library properties and some changes here. You can see that it's got storage locations, it tells me where the media is located and it says it's in the library and then there's the cache section which it tells me includes render files, analysis files, thumbnail images and audio waveforms and it says that they're also stored in the library. Now we can actually change this because we can now click on modify settings and it's going to come up with a drop down box up here. From here we can actually choose where we want all our different media. So for instance let's say we actually had a drive that we use for media which is something that I do, I like to keep my media separate from my libraries, it's actually quite good practice to keep your libraries in a separate drive so that you can have one hard drive which is writing to your library folder where you've got all your timelines, your XMLs and whatnot and then you've got your media which is simply being read. So you can now change your media from in library to any place you choose and you can do the same for the cache. Now let's say you had an additional hard drive and you could actually make a hard drive and call it cache and you could store all your render files in there and what this is going to do is it's going to keep all your other drives nice and clear so that they can run faster um, and operate more efficiently. You can just click here, press choose and navigate anywhere and try and find somewhere that you think is more appropriate. For instance, I actually have two drives built into my laptop. I have a solid state drive and then also a second hard drive where I actually have a media cache folder where I would choose to store all the render files, etc, etc. The reason it's useful to perhaps keep all your cached files for different projects in one folder is because you can actually delete all the media in this and it won't actually affect your timelines. All that's going to happen is you see on the timeline at the moment there's no orange bar which means there's no media that needs to be rendered. Everything is rendered there's, and that means that there's lots of files stored in the library which allow the timeline to play smoothly. So that's stuff like um, text effects which I've got here. If I were to change these effects, they'd need to be re-rendered. If I were to just delete the media cache, then it would create an orange bar across the whole timeline and it would need to be re-rendered, but I would save up a lot of space and I wouldn't actually affect any of my saved files. And then you can also from here choose where you want to back up this particular library. As I went through in previous tutorial, you can, since 10.1, change um, or actually employ Final Cut Backups, which is a re really useful tool which works a bit like Time Machine. So hopefully this was useful. You can now go about using all your different drives, which actually tells you what drives are attached to your laptop or your computer here, um, and how you can go about spreading them out, um, spreading out your, your media, which is all your footage you've imported into your library, your render files, which is all the temporary files that you're actually working with. That is not the files that you've rendered out using the share menu. These are files that Final Cut uses to make quick access of um, different effects. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.